Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. Remember Ubuntu Phone OS? You know, we have Android, Windows Phone, Blackberry, iOS. Ubuntu Phone OS is kind of the new player on the market and we first really got to see it in action at CES in January of this year. And I also did a top five video of it detailing the best features of it. It's basically a new smartphone operating system with a lot of unique features that other smartphone OSs don't have at all. Well, funny you should mention that. Ubuntu Edge is the newest thing that has all the people talking, asking questions like, is this legit? Is this really as awesome as it looks? Is this really what I think it is? Well, that's what we're here to answer. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look. This is Ubuntu Edge Explained. So there are three main things you need to know about Ubuntu Edge to really understand it. Number one, this is a crowdfunding project to make a piece of hardware happen. Basically, this device doesn't exist yet. Canonical, which is the company in charge of this, is trying to make it happen in the form of an Indiegogo campaign. So the first link below the like button will be a link to the whole campaign page where you can read up on all the details and check it out and see for yourself. But they're asking for a record $32 million to make this one device happen. But when you think about it, in terms of you know actual costs to make a smartphone, and when you compare it to other high-end flagship smartphones, that's not all that much money at all to ask for. And this is also a limited edition phone. So it might seem crazy at first to ask for a world record breaking $32 million fundraiser on Indiegogo, but when you put it all in perspective, it's not all that insane. Now the number two thing you need to know is the actual specs of the device they're planning to make. They're really weird. This device is supposed to have a 4.5 inch 720p display covered with a sheet of sapphire crystal instead of traditional glass. It'll also have a camera on the back similar to the HTC One's in that it's optimized for low light photography and fast shooting. Sounds kind of like the HTC One's camera. It'll probably come in at around four or eight megapixels. They've also quoted the fastest multi-core chip available, which will probably be an eight core chip by the time this phone launches. Plus they're also looking at four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of flash storage. Damn, that is a stat line right there. In that one frame of their promo video, that sold a lot of people. Those those three things are just nuts. It'll also have dual LTE antennas for 4G in Europe and the USA, and a slightly new silicone anode battery technology for a hopefully very long lasting battery in this beast of a phone and it'll dual boot Android and Ubuntu. So why all these crazy specs? Why all these ridiculous numbers on paper? Well, consider this. The idea of an Ubuntu OS phone is that when you're holding it in your hand or when it's in your pocket, it'll run a normal phone operating system like Android. And you won't be able to tell that it's a crazy phone or anything like that. But once you plug it in and basically dock it to a display, a keyboard, and maybe even a mouse, it'll start running a full desktop operating system. They're using Ubuntu, so a full full-fledged desktop, non-stripped-down experience. That's gonna take a pretty crazy spec sheet to be able to run that and fit in your pocket. The Ubuntu Edge's hardware also happens to look just gorgeous, drop-dead gorgeous, beautiful, sexy. Did I mention gorgeous? They have mostly 3D renders at the moment, but looks like uh, if you look at the campaign site, some actual prototyping has started as they have a couple of physical things in hand that they can use to show off the phone. But when you actually look at this, it's, it's very, very clean. The idea of the clean lines of the edge, it'll be crafted from a single piece of metal into an awesome shape for this high-end build quality. And on front, you can see edge-to-edge -edge sapphire crystal to make Ubuntu OS's gestures much easier since you're not dragging your finger over multiple materials. And honestly, with the angles on the devices and the way the corners look, I can see where they got the name Edge. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, and I also happen to think this looks a lot like the Oppo Find 5, but maybe that's just me. So the number three thing you need to know, and this is probably the most critical of them all, is how does this actually work? How do you have a device that runs Ubuntu OS and Android? How do you have something that has two different operating systems on it that work with each other and talk to each other? Well, the answer that Canonical has come up with, they're calling Convergence. Convergence is basically Android and Ubuntu OS being able to talk to each other, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, they don't actually have an Ubuntu Edge to show us this on, so for the video, they had a much lower spec device. They used a Nexus 4. And basically, when they plugged in the Nexus 4, they were using, you know, stock Android before. You couldn't tell that it was an Ubuntu phone, but they plugged into the desktop and it was running full, I guess, like we said before, Ubuntu operating system for the desktop. And since these two operating systems are talking to each other using this convergence, a lot of the things that you would expect to find in your phone, you will start to also find on the Ubuntu desktop. So if you use the Contacts app in Ubuntu and you start searching for contacts, you're gonna be searching the contacts on your Android phone. 
The music on the Ubuntu desktop will search for songs in your Ubuntu library on Android. The Thunderbird mail client gets its data from the Gmail client on the Android phone. And you can even use a dialer app in the desktop to make and receive phone calls through the phone that's plugged in. So it's a really neat concept. And basically what I'm trying to say is, where can I give you my money? So what's the point of all this? What's the big idea with making a high-end device that runs Ubuntu OS? Well, basically you can consider the Ubuntu Edge the nexus of Ubuntu OS. It's basically using this project to create a limited edition high-end phone that is, you know, a blend of the experience of what the experience should be when you're using this operating system. So again, when we look at the Nexus program for Android, you're looking at what you expect out of stock Android. This is what you should expect out of Ubuntu OS. When you're gonna be running a high-end operating system from the desktop, you're gonna need high-end specs. This is what they want to start off with and what other OEMs can follow. This isn't meant to be an iPhone rival or the most popular thing in the world. It's not going to sell well. Again, this is limited edition. It is only for the enthusiasts. It is only for the people that are supporting the project. So that's basically it. They're doing a great job right now. One thing I kind of want to see if they're even watching this or listening at all is I would kind of like to see a physical, an actual physical dock because the idea of you know plugging in one cable and sort of propping up your phone next to your desktop seems a little bit cumbersome if that's something what they want us to be doing all the time with the edge. And uh, I'd also like to see a little bit more prototyping so they have some more physical units to be able to show people if they're trying to get bigger donations from people who are interested. But uh, other than that, they're kicking ass right now. If you've checked out the Indiegogo campaign already, you'll see it seems like they're going up by a few thousand dollars every time I refresh the page on Indiegogo. So they're kicking ass right now and I really hope they reach their $32 million goal. How realistic is it that they're going to reach this goal? It's a good question. I mean, they did indeed smash records. They, I think, hit $2 million in the first 24 hours. And this is a 30-day campaign, and four days in, they're past $6.5 million. So it seems like they're doing a great job already, but uh, it's it's definitely something that needs to be kick-started, if you get the pun that I just made. Um, bad idea. But either way, if you feel like getting this uh, super kick-started, you can just you know toss $80,000 at them, I'm sure they could use that. Either way, this has been Ubuntu Edge Explained. Feel free to share this video with anyone who has any questions about this. Also, I'll include a link to the AMA on Reddit that CEO Mark Shuttleworth did, which has a lot of interesting questions about the business and technology behind the scenes answered there. So I'll include that link below the like button below. Hopefully this covers everything. If you have any other comments or questions, the discussion section is open below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.